admitting everyone into the meeting this morning. And uh, we just ask that everyone remember to mute yourself um, so that you everyone can hear and um, to try to avoid any any uh, unnecessary feedback um, and reverb. We're also recording our general session and our breakout sessions today. And um, so please be aware of that. We have started recording this morning. There is a call in number if you're having any difficulty or, or know of anyone having difficulty with with sound. Just admitting several more folks in before we get started here. Well, we will go ahead and get started. Um, thank you so much this morning for coming, everyone. Uh, we hope that you are well and um, know that you are gearing up for um, some much needed rest and um, holiday break. And so we certainly appreciate your time today. Um, we're looking forward as a relief team um, to have the opportunity to uh, be meeting with you and working with you um, proactively as we move into uh, the next phase of our work with uh, ESSER and in particularly ESSER 3.0. Um, so thank you again for being here this morning. Um, we know that you will find the information to be uh, helpful, informational, um, but uh, we're also uh, looking forward to um, having your feedback and input um, as we move along here so that our relief team um, always knows how best to support um, to support you um, in your in your district. Um, so thank you again and welcome. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Of course, this is our um, uh, Tennessee Department of Ed's um, strategic planning um, goals and, and focus. And so as we prepare uh, professional development and information for you, we always um, do uh, use these guiding principles to, um, to move us forward. So welcome again um, to share just a bit of history with you. As you know, our uh, relief funding, um, the um, um, ESSER dollars, um, are an unprecedented amount of funds that states and um, school districts have received um, due to uh, in response to um, COVID-19. And so um, luckily for me and my team, um, we um, joined the Tennessee Department of Ed this summer, late this summer, um, so that we could uh, support districts in their work and um, as they were writing their funding applications, uh, particularly for ESSER 3.0. And so we are a new team. Uh, we are all, all experienced um, district level people, um, but we would like to just take a moment to introduce ourselves since this is the first time that we are coming together um, as a team providing professional development um, to our districts and we recognize that we have uh, very experienced federal directors on the line with us as well as new folks um, because districts have um, been able with their um, federal funding to um, to purchase um, and uh, hire uh, ESSER directors. So welcome to those new folks also. So we just want to take a moment um, to introduce ourselves. Again, I'm Jennifer Rouse. I'm the Director of Relief Funding. Um, I come to you from a um, small district in Northeast Tennessee in Bristol City, um, where I served as 
um, a teacher and principal and um, school district supervisor, um, including federal programs and uh, with IDEA. I'm very proud of my work um, previous to coming to the department. Um, I continue to live in East Tennessee and uh, where I grew up and um, especially enjoy the beautiful scenery and time with family and friends, especially as we're nearing nearing the holidays. Um, so um, appreciate being here with you today and look forward to continue to support you. I know um, I've mentioned um, to quite a few of you that uh, my background is a federal director and working on grants and serving in the district in multiple levels certainly do inform um, my work as the lead of, of relief funding. So um, we certainly take that um, into consideration as we're developing our professional development and, and supporting documents. Um, so with that being said, um, we're going to introduce ourselves as a team and we're going to start with Dr. Jerry Beth Nave and uh, who is our coordinator in East Tennessee. Good morning, everyone. As Jennifer said, I am Jerry Beth Nave. I am the East Tennessee Relief Funding Coordinator. Very happy to be serving in this position. Um, as Jennifer said, since late summer, prior to this, um, I spent 27 years in also in a small LEA in East Tennessee um, in Carter County. In Carter County, I all of my positions were in one type of federal program or another. I worked for 12 years in special education, the last six of those as the director. And in the last 15 years, I have been the federal programs director in Carter County. So like Jennifer said, I feel that the experience that I've had in those positions has been helpful and I have very much enjoyed working with LEA so far, getting to know new people, um, making new colleagues, and I look forward to continuing this work and hopefully meeting many of you in person in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry Beth. And uh, Morgan Campy, Sir Middle Tennessee Relief Funding Coordinator. Thanks, Jennifer. Hey, everybody. I'm Morgan Campy, and I serve in the role as Middle Tennessee Relief Funding Coordinator. I um, joined the department in August as well. Um, so as I've said to a lot of my, my LEA folks that we're learning this work together, and I'm just really excited to be walking alongside of each of you to do this. Um, I came from Metro Nashville Public Schools. Um, I was a grant manager there, um, specifically in the extended learning department. And prior to that, most of my experience is in extended learning. So um, my expertise, I guess you could say, is in kind of a support role when it comes to funding that's outside of the regular scope of academics or um, school systems, but rather funds that really support the work that y'all do. Um, so I just have a really big passion for in equipping and empowering people to do their work really well. Um, I consider myself a civic leader and I'm the co-founder of a platform that equips and empowers women and also did some work in Malawi, Africa doing the same type of work. So um, I'm just really excited to be here working with y'all, walking alongside of you doing this tough work. Um, I've heard from a lot of y'all that it's been, it's been hard, it's been stressful. So I just really hope that um, my role can alleviate some of that for y'all as we move forward. And just like Jerry Beth and Jennifer said, I look forward to meeting some of you in person beyond the computer screen. And um, as always, just know I'm a phone call or an email away. Thank you, Morgan. And uh, Ms. Julia Hudson, who's our West Tennessee Relief Funding Coordinator. Thank you. Good morning. Um, as Jennifer said, I'm Julia Hudson, the West Tennessee Relief Funding Coordinator. I joined the relief funding team in mid-October after serving as a grant manager for another federal grant here at the department. Um, prior to the department, I worked as a classroom teacher and an interventionist for a number of years, and then I worked in ed tech space for a while, so I was able to work with districts all across the state through that role. Um, I live in Murfreesboro, but I was born and raised in West Tennessee and taught in Dyer County 
before we moved here about nine years ago. So I'm really excited to be um, working with West Tennessee and serving that region, my home region, um, and having the opportunity to work with and connect with all of you and support you however we can in this process. Thank you, Julia, so much. I want to take a moment um, to share with you um, the agenda and we've had a bit of a shift to our agenda, the agenda that you are likely using today and that is located in TDOE resources under ESSER uh, funding and SRPD um, is correct, but um, we are going to have a breakout session that includes the entire group. Um, so the only selection for breakout session one is our selection about um, data. Um, Debbie Thompson is going to review um, the expectations, the federal expectations for um, data um, that I know that many of you have heard about already and are anxious um, to know more about. Um, so breakout session one will be whole group. Um, everyone will attend the data session with Debbie Thompson. And then for breakout session two and three, we have two offerings. Um, we have an offering around planning documents and um, your uh, latest requirements with planning documents. And we have a session about um, the funding application and monitoring and tips to support you in your work as you're moving forward with um, funding application revisions and around uh, those pieces. So it's critical for everyone to attend all three sessions. Um, so I'll, I'll um, remind you again at the end of this um, general session that our next step will be as whole group um, in the breakout session with Debbie. So just a bit of an overview. This, this is not new information. Um, this is information you probably have seen already, but um, because we, you know, get questions and, um, and this is tied into um, a pretty um, um, simple uh, chart to show you the differences between the three um, relief funding packages. Um, we thought we would share this in a, a few more slides with you that are um, some things that that are informational. And again, the um, this uh, each session will be recorded and the presentations will be provided um, to you also. We'll post those in ePlan. Um, so, of course, um, we know that uh, we had program allocation uh, with ESSER 1, 2, and 3. Um, the CARES Act uh, with ESSER 1.0 was passed by Congress um, uh, overwhelmingly and signed into law in March, late March of 2020. Um, we uh, the total program allocation was 13.2 billion and the purpose of uh, 1.0 funding was to address the impact that COVID-19 had and continues to have on elementary and secondary schools. And then similarly with 2.0 in December of 2020, um, the um, stimulus bill uh, or 2.0 was passed by Congress and um, it was the second round of federal funding. Um, it provided around $900 billion in economic relief, um, and it is intended to uh, protect Americans from the public health and economic impacts of COVID-19. Um, and so the purpose of those funds were to support reopening of schools, to facilitate continuity of learning and measure and address the learning loss caused by lack of in-person learning. Um, the total program allocation was around um, $54.38 billion. And then, of course, um, ESSER 3.0, um, was signed into um, 
into uh, passing um, in March of 2021. And um, of course, with one and two, uh, it was signed into uh, passing um, through President Trump and, and the legislation at that time. And then with 3.0 was President Biden and that legislation. And so the third round of federal funding and um, the purpose of ESSER 3.0 dollars was to help safely reopen and sustain the safe operations of schools and address the impact of COVID-19 on uh, the nation's students. And, um, and so, of course, um, we all have um, are, are very familiar with the 20% uh, learning loss requirement um, with ESSER 3.0 and other particular requirements that we'll, we'll talk about also. So this is a uh, Tennessee overview. Um, just to, to share that again with you, um, the uh, $1.0 in comparison to um, $3.0 that our um, state received. And then the funding amount to LEAs, um, certainly also. And then, of course, there are federal requirements tied to each of those um, buckets of, of funding. Um, also, um, here is the LEA overview. And uh, just to give you a bit of a, of a more granular um, look at the funding in comparison. So um, just to point out the bottom uh, in the bottom uh, uh, piece of the chart, the slide, the last day to obligate for LEAs, we get that question on occasion um, for one, two and three. So um, that gives you your your timeline. And again, just reviewing the, um, the focus areas for 1.0. Um, so those are allowable uses of, of these one-time funds. And um, I know you're familiar with those, um, but um, just sharing this information again with you and, um, and how that many, many LEAs um, spent their funds for 1.0 in the focus area. And then 2.0 was really when uh, we began focusing on addressing learning loss and uh, the work with um, construction and facility repairs and improvements. Also addressing learning acceleration was a focus. And then in 3.0, that reservation of at least 20% of funds um, to address learning loss and um, looking at interventions around social emotional learning and those supports and um, subgroups, particularly um, addressing the impact of COVID-19 on underrepresented, uh, underrepresented um, student subgroups. And um, then, um, to reopen safely and remain open um, was a focus as well as um, the CDC guidelines to reopen safely and remain open. We often get questions about accountability and what monitoring um, looks like. Um, we have uh, districts that are currently engaged in monitoring on site and then certainly desktop and self monitoring this year. And um, so uh, there is an expectation around accountability um, already. Um, it is embedded um, into the RBM monitoring tiers and um, and uh, we continue to review the spin down of funds and provide um, technical assistance as needed. And we certainly will spend a bit of time talking about this during our breakout session um, later this morning. And then just a reminder um, that we have resources located in ePlan um, under TDOE resources. Um, we'll have all of this information posted um, in um, a folder that's titled ESSER Professional Development 
and um, we also um, continue to add resources in TDOE resources to support um, the relief funding work um, and have um, a web page dedicated um, to relief funding to ESSER. Um, so uh, the TDOE web page will continue to be updated as well. We currently have office hours scheduled every Monday and you see the times there um, and that information also can be found in ePlan. Um, but after um, after speaking with you today about additional requirements around um, data uh, collection and reporting, and as as well as specifics with um, the planning documents and the federal requirements surrounding those planning documents, we will begin um, as early as next week providing additional office hours to support those requirements. Um, and so we'll talk about those today during our uh, breakout sessions and of course post those in ePlan as well. Um, we encourage you to attend those virtual office hours um, to ask questions and glean insight. It's a great time to hear from other um, other uh, federal directors and ESSER uh, points of contact um, to have your questions answered. This is my contact information um, and uh, you are welcome obviously to email or call anytime. We also have um, posted here in our presentation uh, the divisional coordinator map. Sometimes it helps to see um, this visual um, so that you can see who your um, who your coordinator is in your in your particular area. And then lastly, um, in each of the breakout sessions, we will have give you the opportunity and ask that you please complete um, a survey um, today uh, at the end of your breakout sessions um, so that we can uh, gain uh, your input and um, certainly uh, that will inform us as we as we move um, forward into uh, our second semester and work with ESSER dollars. So all of that being said, a mouthful, um, our next um, session again is the ESSER Federal Data Requirements Session. We will begin at 9.05 Central, 10.05 Eastern, um, you can find the link on your agenda, it's a Teams link. And um, so everyone will be together in the large group um, for uh, to talk about federal data, data requirements with Debbie Thompson. So I appreciate your time this morning and um, look forward to our continued um, discussions and, and uh, sharing information with you today. And um, at this time, I will wrap it up and we will come back together uh, for the ESSER Federal Data Requirements Session um, promptly at 9.05 Central Time, 10.05 Eastern. Thank you, everyone.